Hi everyone. Hi. We have a new video for you in just a moment, but first we wanted to say we hope everyone's staying safe out there yep. amidst this crisis that we're in now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't get sick. Yeah, please don't get sick. Wash your damn hands, please. You know, for at least 20 seconds, you've seen all the news. You don't need us to repeat that. But uh, we're going to keep creating content for you because in this time, uh, the world needs as much positivity as it can possibly get, right? Yep. yep. And, and you can't share the virus over the Internet. No, unless it mutates into a digital form. Yeah. I have no words for you. You know that? What words do you have for me, sir? Hi. Do you want to tell us about the video we're going to see? Uh, well, I uh, we get the Instant Pot back out with a tried and true recipe. So uh, you see the title of the video. You know what's coming up. So uh, without further ado, let's toss it back to a couple of weeks ago. Hello everyone and welcome back to Greg's kitchen. Greg's back there and this is his kitchen, right? Yep. What are we making today, Greg? Well, we're trying our chili recipe from the crock pot in the instant pot. Yep. So, if you want to see how to do the recipe, go back and watch this video right up here and take a look. So we're just going to skip straight to dumping the elements into the instant pot, right? Yep. All right, as you see, he's preparing the ground beef back there. And through the magic of editing, here we go. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients in the pot here. Same ingredients in the last recipe, except that I added a little water. Because if you don't know how the pressure cooker works, the steam is what makes the pressure. And it was a little thick, and I was afraid it wouldn't get enough steam. So I added a little bit of water. So we're gonna plug this in and turn it on for 30 minutes and see what happens. It's a fun chime, isn't it? I'm sure the vent is over here unclosed. And then let's see, we need 30 minutes to see what this does. There is a chili button on the actual uh, name brand. It'll probably be more like 40 minutes because it will need a few minutes to come to pressure. So let's wait and see what happens. Oh. Oh. chili. Might not have needed all that extra water, but it'll thicken up because I haven't put any cheese in it yet because I didn't want that to scorch. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, while he's uh, destroying the kitchen, let me remind you, if this is your first time to our channel, welcome. Please do subscribe. We'd love to have you join us for all of our future videos. And please do hit the bell. That way you get notified when the new videos go up. And uh, leave us a comment and give us a like. We appreciate it. Yep. Looks like it's done. Um, 
Maybe not quite as thick as I'm used to. I probably put a little too much water in it, but I'm sure it's still going to be good. Very hot. That's a good sign. as good as it is in the crock pot well that turned out really good i think just as good as the crock pot and it took a whole lot less time yes we're gonna actually have that again this coming week yep so uh go back and watch the original chili video as well if you want to see how to make the chili itself you know you have your option you can do it in the instant pot or you can do it in a standard crock pot yep either way it turns out good yep all right so we love you very much thank you for watching and we'll see you real soon okay stay safe everyone bye, bye.